<sighs> okay, I'm not sure if I have made a decision yet what to do here, but oh, it's time. Hey guys, it's your bow, Bo the Doggo, and welcome back to Winds of Change, episode 13. Yeah, 13. And we are we are going to make the decision of what to do with um, with my powers, the monarchy powers. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna make an army of seers or are we gonna revive the dead and put them into suits i guess or just revive them to zombies i don't know what gonna what they're gonna do about that if they're gonna be zombies or if we're gonna just put their souls into suits probably so probably zombies so do we want a seer army or a zombie army that's the decision we will have to make now so let's go okay army of seers or army of monarch vessels so, what I have decided is that I am going to make the vessels. Um, because there's a risk in making the seers. Apparently there's a chance that I will die for making the seers. Because I have to give my power to the people to give them the visions. And there is a chance that I will give too much and that I will die myself. And I also want to be the only seer. There shouldn't be more seers than me because I want to be special. I'm not only the king, I'm also the only seer. <laughs> and the monarch vessels, I think that those people died too fast. So even though they will be in pain like forever, they will at least get another chance to, to get their revenge on the triumvirate. So we are going with the army of monarch vessels. Please don't hit me now if you all thought that I should do the seers. I'm sorry. <laughs> but here we go. It's chosen. I have made a choice! Let's continue. An army of monarch vessels would be the most useful. We would need a rage that would motivate their every attack. Their resilience to their body would also be helpful to our cause. An army of undying vessels seeking vengeance? We can only but hope that they will accept this fate. Hopefully the suffering would be worth it. I make my choice known to my allies. I met with uncertain gaze, as I expected. I think I would in any, in any case. There was no right choice in this situation. Or no wrong choice. <laughs> Very well. So, there we have it. What happens next? I will take the king to the idol and help. After that, we must all convene in this war room. A strategy is required for this newfound army. Hmm. We all nod and take a step closer to the table. I follow sailors out of the room to carry out my duty. As we leave, I can hear them planning. And I feel hopeful. Troop morale has risen by 5%. Yay, so what is now like 30% maybe? We will turn this defeat into the most profound victory. The, under my leadership, we would witness the triumvirate fall. Oh yeah, and I will become the king. The true heir of the throne. Oh yeah. I follow sailors back to the room with a spirit idol. It's dark and dim, and with his death, the monarchy was imprisoned no more. However, existing within the vessels and the blade, was it considered the freedom at all? I wonder what would happen to the monarchy after this war. Their bodies are likely long gone, so what would become of them? I wonder if there was a way to reverse everything the Triumvirate has done. But there's no time to think about that. It's time to create our army. If we reverse anything the Triumvirate have done, we will disappear because they created us, so we will be no more. Much to our luck, before we began, Milus arrived at the Rebel HQ. Alongside him was a massive amount of people from Valley North. Oh, are they here? His evacuation was successful, and this meant more soldiers. And it also meant a large number of volunteers. So would the, like, the Valley Northians have become the Seers then, maybe? If I chose the other part? Hmm. It wasn't much longer until the room was scattered with corpses. Just where Damek wanted to bury them, but also accessible to us. But part of me felt bad. Condemning them to a future of pain and misery? War called for desperate measures, and this truly seemed like the best choice. Sailors and I stand before the bodies, taking in the gruesome sight. It was just like I thought. The blade is an extension of the wheeler's mind. Sailors told me how to wield it, and I touched the bodies of the fallen with it. Almost like a knighting ceremony in the stories of old, I declared them vessels. But he also told me that the effect wouldn't happen immediately. 
the corpses would need to be monitored for the next day or so. When they woke up, they'd be scared and very confused. After that, we'd make our way back to the war table. I can only hope that things would go as planned. For our future. When we arrive, it seems like Damex already had a strategy. Absolutely not. Oh, what's going on? Ulrich, we have no other choice. Our forces require more than one major boost. Going to Alarinthia, we could convert them to our side. Oh. Interesting. They don't want to be converted, they want blood. Plain and simple. What about Vivian and her army? Who? You know, from the newspaper. Interesting, so if I hadn't read that book in the tavern, uh, or the newspaper, or whatever it was, I wouldn't have been able to point this out. Hmm, and I guess someone else would have done it. Uh, tell me about the book I read at the tavern. In Alorenthia, there's also a rebellion of sorts. A group who wants to change the ways run. I've never heard of this. Apparently they follow after ancient ideals. An Alorinthian legend that wanted to change the nation. So far it seems like none have been strong enough to do so. It's because strength always wins. Plain and simple. And with strength and power, they don't want anything to change. They only want to secure their own rule. Alorinthia is always the same. Well, the mainland has never reached out before, right? If we team up with them, yourself included, we could win. If that's not possible, then maybe we can cut a deal with Draku. Hmm, maybe. Draku? He wants nothing more than to flex his power. He may rule over Alorinthia, but he's no ruler. Trust me. Uh, it's like Nada, she also just wants to flex her power. <laughs> well, I think we have a good opportunity for him, actually. What better way to show strength than to dethrone gods? There's a couple of avenues to take here. We need to do this. Hmm. Excuse my lack of enthusiasm, Domek. I think there are more pressing matters at hand. We still need to decide what to do with him. Me? Or you mean Silas? He tilts his head over to Silas, who shakes his own head in return. We require no maintenance. We simply wish to fight and teach. Our legacy demands to be passed on. There you have it. I don't think there's anything we can do. He won't be of any harm to us, right? That's what we thought about the Honor Guard. Are you really going to gamble on the spirits again? What if there's a chance he's just lying to us, Domek? Hmm. We have no reason to lie, and we do not appreciate this accusation. Using the Honor Guard, we fortify these tunnels. It is thanks to us that you survived this ordeal. Many of our citizens were sacrificed in order to do this. Controlling the Triumvirate's forces was taxing, to say the least. Then why did they kill almost all of us during the attack? No control was strong, but not strong enough. It was easy for the Grand Inquisitor to overpower us. Until today, he had never set foot in these tunnels. We do not mind answering questions, but we do mind being accused of wrongdoing. Everything we've done, we've done to help your cause. To what end? The Triumvirate's end. Ulrich concedes, simply shaking his head. It seems that it was a counter to all of his objections. I think we should just trust him, Ulrich. He's answered so many of our questions. Things make more sense now, wouldn't you say? He doesn't respond. However, Fortim says forward. What should we call him, though? We do not require a name. No, but we want to call you something, idiot. You might think that, but you still need one. It's out of convenience, not necessity. Convenience? Yeah. Nobody really needs a name. It just helps us talk to one another, you know? It's especially helpful in battle, or while strategizing. It also helps us to refer to each other. Very well. We will think of a name. However, before much time passes, Valesa interjects. How? Huh? That's what Domic said, right? Driven by the howls of countless spirits. It seems fitting, given the circumstances. How the fuck do you remember that, Valesa? I remember it just because I edited a video and heard that line like 10 times. But how the fuck did you remember that of a, out of a, that whole speech? Jesus Christ, Valesa. Valesa, uh, I... 
We accept this moniker. However, we must discuss another matter. This strategizing you speak of, we wish to help. That's my job, actually. And look where it got you. Burn? What? Your blind faith in spirits caused all of this. Our judgment will not be clouded. We wish to take your place. Remember, you are no longer in charge. This is the king's choice. Oh, so you, you're saying that you want to be the strategist? How turns to face me? We wish to be your advisor, monarch. We've watched this world for almost an eternity. We know how the enemy works and thinks. It would be the wisest course of action. Domic is responsible for this catastrophe. He would be unfit to give you advice in the future. That is absolutely untrue. In this world, we learn from our mistakes, Hal. We don't condemn others based on bad decisions. Perhaps that is why you are easily oppressed. <laughs> there is no room for error in this final days. Perhaps in the future, you can atone for this. I can tell that they are about to get locked in a heated argument. To avoid this, I slam my hand down on the war table, starring them. A loud echo reverberates through the room as I assert my authority. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Imagine how you slam my hand down and it's echo through the whole room and Damek be like Hmm? <laughs> Damek will advise me. He always has. Howl, I wish you to be my advisor. I guess this is also one of the, um, the uh, like the, the purity or the corruption thing and I, I, I obviously Damek will be the purity and Howl will be the corruption and someone told me in the comments that it's good the best ending is to have like uh, 50 50 or have like a balance um so maybe we should go with damek then to get like a balance between the purity and the corruption because i think the corruption is more than my purity right now i also like damek howl is cool but Damek also knows more about the people and the army, and I think the army are more likely to trust Damek as an advisor than Howl as an, as an advisor. So I'm gonna stick with Damek. I let them know that I want Damek to be my advisor. I agree with everything he said, and I still don't really know Howl. I agree with everything he said, and I still don't really know Howl. Being an advisor requires both knowledge and teamwork. Very well. Thank you. I mean, you can still give me ad advices anyway, but some uh, are means more, or whatever. Uh, they still stared at each other. With, they still stared at each. They still stared at one another with an evil eye. I could tell that an. I could tell that animosity was growing. I could tell that animosity was growing between them. However, this was neither the time or the place for that. I have to look up what an animosity is or not. <laughs> Those matters aside, we still need to make our next move. There's an upcoming ball in Alarinthia. It's held annually. The palace is open for a few days only. We can go. I thought it said bull, like the like the animal, like a bull. <laughs> it's an annual bull. <laughs> it's likely that Vivian will make a move against Draku. If she does, we can use that as an opportunity to form an alliance. If she doesn't, then we can seek out an audience with Draku. Either side would have a wealth of forces to offer. We need their aid if we're going to win the final battle. I'll get the boats ready. We can leave tomorrow morning. Cool. I'm sure Nard will be able to give us a capable ship. If we're going to make this ball, we need the best of the best. Ships were part of our terms, so I'm sure she'll be able to comply. He gathered up some papers and started to walk away. Meet back here in the morning, all of you. We can go over any last minute stuff before we leave. The rest, we'll have plenty of time to discuss on the voyage. We all nod at one another before leaving the room. I'm thankful that I've been able to get some sleep, however little. I make my way back to my room, constantly checking my back. 
Troop morale has risen by 5%. Woo! <laughs> They'd never catch up off guard again. Next time we fought, it would be their end. Howl has now permanently joined our party! Yeah! So, oh, so now I can go have my heart-to-heart uh, -heart with him. I guess. Or is it a she? Or is it a them? Or is it because they are, they are a legion? <laughs> I enter my room and let out a loud sigh. I can finally relax. As short as my rest will be, it was better than no rest at all. I noticed that I was followed, but I expected as much of what happened. It was Howl. He approaches slowly with resolve in his steps. Why did you not make me your advisor? However, he doesn't seem angry in any way. That was good since I sided with Damek. We must express displeasure at your decision. Domic made a mistake and remains unpunished. The lives that were lost beg for justice. We are that justice. Are you saying that you, should, that you want to kill him? You can't do that, no. Domic was only believing in the spirits, like we all do. Now that we know the truth, he will approach things differently. He would never intentionally lead us into danger. He's honorable. Honor? He crosses his arms, unimpressed. Honor is a term used to stay the hand in difficult situations, Monarch. When the final drop of blood must be spilled, and your honor stops you, what then? Is the future of our world on the shoulders of those so weak? I don't like the way you're, you're putting this on me. <laughs> he scoffs. Do not concern yourself with honor. The enemy does not, and this is why they win. Concern yourself with the correct actions, not the right ones. Huh. That is all the advice we have for you today, Monarch. But we do not trust Domic to make the right decisions in the future. The fact that he left the Honor Guard alive is proof of that. He hesitates. Hmm. This hesitation will not go away simply because he knows what we are. The truth of the spirit realm does not change strategy on the war table. With that said, we will leave you be. Ruminate on this in the future, my king. Oh, I will. He gives me a slight bow as a sign of respect before leaving. Being the Exodus wielder was intense enough, but being the monarch? Thankfully, I had the support of my friends. They would keep me strong. I lay down in bed, and it isn't much longer before I drift off to sleep. When I wake up rested and refreshed, I head to the war room. Everyone is there, as expected. It's time to get things moving. Damak approaches the war table, fiddling with the wooden figures resting on top of it. They represent different things. The figure for the rebellion he places on Alorantia. Our next objective was clear. We'd be sailing to the Far East to secure an alliance. Each year, Drakeu holds a ball. Essentially, it's to show off his power. It's open to the public, which means Vivian will likely make a move. I'd say it's either an assassination attempt or a tournament request. During the ball, we will meet with both of them. Our goal is to secure an Alarinthian army to help us out. If we do this, our chance of success will increase tenfold. Hmm. Each party, if they're willing, will likely request something in return. It may be impossible to avoid being caught up in Alarinthian politics. If it comes to anything extreme, we will have Ulrich help us out. Yeah. I trust there are no objections? Nobody raises a concern, but I can tell that the Ulrich is upset. We will set sail immediately after this meeting. I've already arranged transportation with our pirate allies. It's a 24-hour voyage, so pack your essentials. Food and drink have already been pre-packed. None of us should go hungry or thirsty during the trip. And there are enough beds for us all to sleep, too. The voyage will be a nice time to get some relaxation in. However, once we get to Alarinthia, we have to be serious. Our success directly affects our odds of surviving this war. We've ensured that our comrades received a proper burial. They're resting with the spirit idol and will close off that passage. For their sake, Please leave it undisturbed. They deserve rest. But what about the monarch vessel things? 
Are they gonna like wake up down there? Hello? How would- what do we do about that? I don't understand! Help! He inspects a piece of paper in his hands before continuing. However, the bodies you imbued with power have started to move. They will accompany us to Alarinthia and help our cause. Thankfully, they accepted this fate. There is no confusion. We have our army of vessels, Monarch. Hopefully, you'll get to meet them soon. With all of oh. that said, I think it's time to end this meeting. Are there any questions before we head to the shipyard? Remember, once we leave, we may not be back for a while. Hmm. Four attempts steps forward. What exactly happens at this ball? I'm not sure. Dancing and feasting, I'd imagine. Drake wants to pamper everybody he can. That's his goal. If his people are happy, then there's less fighting over the throne. So, basically one big party, then? Correct. Awesome. The last party we were ever going to have was cancelled. <laughs> Let's say we finally have your induction ceremony, eh, seer? Except now it's not for being a seer. It's for being a king. We all nod at one another. It's true. My last ceremony was cancelled. So now we're gonna have an even bigger one! Yeah! It was Draco's party. But we could celebrate for our own reasons. Just try not to draw attention to yourselves, alright? It may be a party, but Alarinthia's fate will change behind the scenes. Remember why we're there, and don't lose sight of our original goal. Of course. Fortim steps back, satisfied. Why didn't Vivian make a move at any of the other parties? I guess I mean to ask, what makes this year special? What if we go there and she ends up doing nothing? If that happens, then we focus on Draku. At the end of the day, we still have an option. We're just planning for many possible scenarios. All right. Valessa nods, her curiosity sated. There's a brief silence and no further questions. Very well. Dismissed. Let's pack our things and meet at the docks. We'll set sail in three hours, so don't be late. Okay. I can not promise I won't be, but sure. With that said, almost everybody rushes out of the room. Except for Hal. He stays behind and eyes me down. Before I get ready to leave, I ask him what he wants. We've been given a room in the crew quarters. Please stop by and see us before you leave. Oh. It is important for us to learn more about you. Uh, ditto. He bows at me before leaving. Until then, your highness. Dismissed. He was definitely taking this monarch thing seriously. But given his culture and the power within me, it makes sense. I take one last look at the war table before heading out. The war table is used to track your relationship with each character. Oh! The amount of hearts indicates how many heart to heart you have completed. When a character's heart gauge reaches 4, you can click them to access a special scene. Ooh! These scenes are required to earn each character's loyalty. The loyalty of your followers affect both the morale and their fate. Oh no! Do not neglect heart-to-heart -heart conversation, or these special loyalty scenes. When you wish to depart Alarentia, return to the Mazeo docks. A new map icon will display by the ship at the front of the shipyard. Cool, okay, ah, okay, who has a furthest with that would be Fortem. I see, only two with pro, oh, 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 only two with pro, oh, we need more with pro- Oh, Sovi! Let's go and check out with Sovi! Parallel Chronicles 7? Shit, okay, let's go watch in Parallel Chronicles Sovi 7. Sovi and his crew quickly made their way back to the docks. Heading in an alleyway, much like before, they gathered their bearings. Things hadn't gone according to plan. The true mission was a failure. What happened, Sovi? I thought you had everything under control. Get in, kill the seer, and destroy the idol. It's not that simple, Halen. I tried my best, and it wasn't a total failure. We've dealt them a blow from which they'll never recover. Or will they? And you think the Triumvirate will be okay with that? They don't tolerate failure. I'll get dragged into this too. I don't want to suffer due to your inability to succeed, Sovi. <laughs> Let's not even mention the Blade of Exodus. You just let them walk away with it. I can't believe you were so foolish. Don't worry. We'll get the job done. 
They'll be happy enough with Damek out of the picture. It'll buy us time while we formulate another plan, Halen. If you're lucky enough to get another chance, you mean. You'll need a pretty good excuse to get away with this. Solvi sighs, looking down at the ground. I wish I could date Halen. I think he's cute. But I also wish that he wasn't evil. <laughs> like, like a whole bunch of you said in the comments as well. Like, I, I wish that Sovi wasn't evil because he's hot. <laughs> and I feel the same about Halen. I wish he wasn't evil because I think he's cute and I would like to date him. <laughs> I hesitated, Halen. Hmm. I mean, look at him. I had him in my grasp, and I hesitated. There was something in my head saying not to kill him. The same instinct I always listen to and am praised for. Hmm. That instinct has yet to let me down. I feel like he was meant to survive this battle. We'll have more chances to kill him in the future. Maybe the monarchs are uh, influencing Sylvia as well? Besides, with the condition I left him in, he'll be an easy target. Next time we cross paths, even a child could take him down. <laughs> this isn't as bad as you think, Halen. Today, we won. For your sake, I hope they buy that excuse. No, Halen. We must never tell them the truth. Tell them the seer slipped through our grasp. I trust you to keep this silent for the time being. You want me to lie for you now? <laughs> it's for the best. Just trust me. I would do the same for you, Halen. Together, we will acquire any lost honor. Fine, but next time I'll watch you. If you can't finish the job, then I will. There's no place for hesitation in a time of war. Solvi nods and Halen walks away. This leaves Soli alone with Shane. So, how are you feeling? I'm fine. You look conflicted. I said I'm fine. Look, you killed Darmic, Shane. I can understand what you're going through. Ah, oh, fuck you, Shane. Oh, can you? Yes, I did the same thing in the past. Before I joined the Triumvirate, I killed them all. Liars and cheaters deserve no less of a punishment. Them all? Who? Who all? He looked so sad, though. Like, how do I know what you said was true? A face can say a lot more than words ever can. He was sad because he got caught, Shane. He thought you were dead, so he didn't expect it. You rose from the grave to deliver your vengeance. That is an opportunity he shall never have. He didn't hesitate to send you to your death, remember? There's no reason to give him a courtesy he never gave you. Fuck you, Sylvie. <laughs> Offering that olive branch is a good way to get yourself killed. There's no going back now, Shane. You're one of us. After what you did, you're their enemy. For good. Huh? Yes. But you are no longer an enemy of the Triumvirate. They will sing your praise and give you your every desire. The victory of our battle was all thanks to you, Shane. Oh. Uh, I'm not sure how to feel. You should feel bad about this, Shane. Bad dog. Bad dog. Sometimes you need to act rather than react. Push those feelings aside and focus on survival. There are many rebels who will seek you out for revenge. And I expect you to show all of them the same treatment. Welcome to the Inquisition, Shane. The right side of history. Oh. Oh no, this is bad. Okay then, uh, we are going to uh, have a heart to heart with uh, Howl then. And also, about Ulrich, what I totally glanced over when I played the game and only noticed in uh, 
editing because I talked a little little bit with Vitsi about it. And that is that Sovi mentioned when Sovi talked to uh, Ulrich, he said something like, You've certainly grown. Where was that bravado 500 years ago? 500 years ago and referred to that they had been fighting or something for 500 years ago. I, th- I guess that's what uh, Ulrich means when he says that I'm much older than you think I am. And I was like, yeah, it's probably 40. But I mean, he's probably like hundreds of maybe even thousand years old. And that is super interesting. And therefore, I think that he might actually have been more on the side of the uh, of the triumvirate than he's saying. Like he said, like, oh yeah, I, I joined them, but I didn't want to be with them, so I left again. But he might actually have been like a Grand Inquisitor and had the same role that Sovi does now. That Ulrich was Sovi's old master. What do you think about that? Do you think maybe... I, I actually... I hope I, I hope that this is what it is. That Ulrich was Sovi's old master. But he he came to a realization or in uh, knew the truth or something and was like, no, I can't do this anymore. I need to leave the triumvirate because this isn't right. And then um, maybe Sovi almost killed him in battle or something. Who knows? But something like that. And I guess then Sovi also is like many hundred years old. That is something to think about. Anyway, now we're gonna go talk to Howl. Yeah, and Howl. Heart to heart, Wern. Let's go. I enter Howl's room, and I notice him standing with his back to me. He's in the corner of the room, with his hands pressed against the wall. He's mumbling to himself, and I do my best not to startle him at all. Bodies everywhere. Screams for help. Blood flowing. Corpses held tightly in their arms. They cry for the lost. But the lost do not answer, for they have no voice. He feels shame, like he's responsible for all of this. But soon after, he feels nothing at all. Until he rises again, vengeance controls his mind. It drives his clouded judgment. This could be like the lyrics for a heavy metal song or something. (laughs) We see the future, as expected but also the past. We see your death, Monarch, even if it didn't happen. Why does time play such tricks on our memories? He turns to face me, so he knew that I was here all along. Are these memories, or perhaps echoes? That is what I wish to talk to you about, Monarch. Our mind is overwhelmed, but not in the usual sense. Tell me more. I would love to help. We expected you to say that. We've heard it before. It's almost like you had no other choice. Interesting. Things are different now that we're free. So different. That that is almost a little bit meta because I couldn't choose anything else. That was the only, only thing I could answer. Hmm. Exiting that prison has taken its toll in our minds. And there, our sight was limited. But not anymore. Instead of just the future, we see everything. Oh, so you see, like, all possible futures? You're like Doctor Strange. <laughs> um, so you see, like, multiple uh, multiple futures, and that's when you saw that in all futures I gave the same answer in every of them? Hmm. We see the past, and consequences of actions not taken. The possibilities are infinite, and this is hard even to fathom. We must narrow our vision. These details are unimportant. We may not be of much use at the moment, Monarch. It will take some time to adjust to these new circumstances. If we choose to adjust, that is. Further evaluation is required. Well, everything is important to consider, even if it didn't happen. We see a past where we failed to save you, Monarch. You fell to your wounds and Alestia had no hope at all. Domic too. The failure of the rebellion was certain. Pirates rushed to help, but not led by the same leader. Ulrich sacrificed himself to use the blade and create an army. The monarch vessels, or perhaps the created seers. 
Why do you say that seeing these things is important? It is death and carnage, the loss of all hope, and ultimately, death. Only one thing remains constant in all of us, the Blade of Exodus. Well, learning from our past failures is how we become stronger and smarter. We saw you say this as well. It led to ruin. Our culture was always focused on avoiding the wrong future. We've never thought about seeing numerous versions of the past. Hmm. But we are sure that we see these things for a reason. Perhaps there is a secret to find. Or a link hidden between them all. As we travel, we will do our best to learn more about these visions. Yeah. We simply wish to make you aware that they exist. It is the opposite of everything we've ever encountered. But at the end of the day, so are you. A huge anomaly. I'm not sure what he means, since he speaks so cryptical. But he's having visions of different pasts, not just the future. That would be jarring to me as well, since I only ever saw the future. But it was almost always the future that I wanted to avoid. How could you see a different past? That was always set in stone. Was it though? Let alone pasts so different to the details of the death of my comrades. There had to be a reason. He was right. But it's unlikely that we would find an answer anytime soon. He would have to put up with this burden for a little bit longer. It pains us to see visions of your death, Monarch. Future or past. It is something we wish to avoid. You carry our legacy. You are everything to us. Aww. We request some time alone, if you'd give us the honor. We will do our best to focus on more positive things. Okay. He turns back to the wall and places a hand up on it. Sharing an apple in a back alley, a growing bond. Alcohol brings forth. Childhood dreams. Dreams of change. You grow close to a comrade. Despite their two-faced nature. So you're talking... For Tim, I share an apple with. Alcohol brings forth childhood dreams. That must be Ulrich. And you go close to a comrade despite their two-faced nature. That's pro. Right? A man seeks family to replace the one he never had. Damek. There is a girl who finds the strength to succeed in her friends. Valessa. We wonder where we fit in amongst this group. We hope we can. Of course you can. Just join my Discord server, link in the description. <laughs> he looks down at the floor, and I take a few steps back. For now, it's probably best to leave him be. He seems overwhelmed. In this situation, I would be as well. He has to process a lot of new information. If I can find my place in all of this, so can he. Perhaps he had more time to talk in the boat ride. I leave for the docks, confident to help him more in the future. Yeah, I think we there is still time to go join the boat as well. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go. Woo! There is the boat. This is the boat we will take. Uh, you will be unable to return to the mainland until after Act 4. Knowing this, would you still like to set sails for Al Alaranthia? I think so. I don't think there is much more to do here. Let's do a quick save. Just be in case. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's go. I make my way to the ship, as Damek instructed. Everyone is already gathered around. Am I late? But did I say before, I would be late. <laughs> before long, I'm spotted by a few of my friends. Hey there, Monarch. Glad to see you made it on time. They're just about ready to leave Mazeo. I'm so excited to see what Alorinthia is like. I mean, except for the heat, of course. Yikes. But I guess there will be plenty of time to adapt. Yeah, I don't think our visit there will be a short one. It's kind of a tall order, forming an alliance with Alorinthia. They take their independence seriously, even more than Valinorth. I think that Vivian will be our best shot, but I trust you and Domic to get this done. You're a dream team, Ye so this has to go well. Upon hearing his name, Domic's ears perk up. He turns around and runs to face me, excited. I'm impressed of how well he's organized this. Monarch, perfect timing as always. Yo, yo, yo. I was yo. just telling my friends about you. Here, let me introduce you to some of them. He starts walking away, leading me to some nearby rebels. I've never seen them before, but they're lucky to be alive. The previous attack almost took everybody from us. As your advisor, I have a few close friends. They'll provide me with counsel when you're busy. 
we both know that's going to be quite often, Monarch. Mm -hmm. This much was true. Everybody, I'd like to introduce you to the Monarch. Treat him as you treated me. He's your new leader now. And after this war, he'll be the new ruler of Alestia. It's, it's me, I am Bodogo. That was still overwhelming to think about. I guess I'll have to take things as they come. One step at a time. Damek's friends take turns stepping forwards, seemingly nervous. I've heard a lot about you, Monarch. Until you arrived, you're all Damek could talk about. You have my allegiance. My sword is yours to command. Cool. And mine, too. Trust me, Monarch. We got this. After this is done, Alestia will belong to us. And if I'm honest, it's about damn time. He's cute. And I like the name Pommy. <laughs> His cute name. Yeah, the Triumvirate has ruled over us for far too long. A change is overdue. It'll keep things nice and interesting. Please, Monarch, come to me if you need any assistance at all. The spicy boy is here, I see. <laughs> As if they rehearsed this, they all step back in unison. It was nice to see that Damek had the support of his rebels. They don't seem to hold him accountable, like Howl did. Well, I guess that's everything I needed to do. The food and supplies have all been taken aboard. Nada insisted, I guess she couldn't get any sleep. I don't blame her. Should we continue the rest on the ship? There's still a few people you need to meet. After that, we're in for a long, boring trip. Uh, this doesn't seem right. Is this on secret code they're giving me right now? Uh, write, write this down. It might be, it might be uh, uh, a secret code that we will need later. I nod and start to follow him aboard. Everybody else follows suit, until we're all loaded up. This will be my first time at sea. I hope my body takes it well. And uh, I, I actually think we're gonna end it there. Yeah, I think, I think we end it there, guys. We're on the boat, we're sailing to Alarenthia. And um, yeah, we will see in the next episode where this takes us and how long this boat trip is. So yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And thank you to my patrons, and uh, to everyone on my Discord, and for you to watching and enjoying these videos. It means it, it means a lot, really. Uh, and uh, I actually enjoy making these videos, it's really fun. So I think I'm actually gonna make the, the next video right after this. So I'm just gonna continue recording after this, because I'm eager to continue. I haven't recorded for over a week now. So I really, I really want to do another episode. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave you with that, guys. And yeah, uh, remember that you are loved and appreciated. And that you should be proud of who you are. Because I want to see you in the next episode. Also, if you wondered what Damek looks without his hood, he looks like this from my illustrations. Yeah. <laughs>